So I've been playing Dying Light 2 for over two years now. And the amount of content that I've made on Dying Light 2 has been absolutely insane, which I really do appreciate every single one of you for that. But it really still gets to me on a couple of views asking on, are you still going to be playing Dying Light 2 in 2025? And well, I'm going to be talking about it in this video. So anyways, everybody, we are playing... Your number is still 911? Alrighty then. Well, god damn, we're back on this f***ing game again. Hey, we're back on Dying Light 2. What's up, everybody? My name's Jonathan, as you already know already. And for today's video, we are playing some more community maps. And later down in the video, I'm going to start talking about am I still going to be playing Dying Light 2 in 2025? Because we've only got like two, three months until it's 2025 already. But before I go into the community maps, make sure you subscribe and also like the video as well. And I want to say thank you all for the love and support on my last two videos because I did a Dead Rising video and a Left 4 Dead video so honestly everybody thank you all so much I really do appreciate it but besides that let's somehow go onto the community maps and hopefully it's gonna be better than a lot of freaking last video I did all right what do we do what do we do <laughs> A tropical utopia. Yeah, let's do that one. Not enough space. What the heck do you mean by that? What the heck am I looking at? Do the entire loop of island monorail. Do the entire loop of island monorail will stop at each station for six seconds. Okay, fuck it, mate. Hang on. What the heck am I looking at? Okay, I don't know what the heck is going on, man, but this place does not look bad at all. It sort of reminds me of Dead Island. This kind of music, though. Who's which game to teleport to? Use if you find the monorail to be too dull for you. What ball? The fuck am I? What the fuck? This music kind of goes hard though. Wow, that's sick. Wow. God damn, how big is this man? You're telling me this is a community map? Well, uh, Techland, can you make this as an uh, official map for Don't Let the Beast? Yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Every time I go out of it, I always goes back to it. You know what? I always sit here and wonder what the heck am I doing with my life, but you know what? It's a okay. So, anyway, I wanted to talk about to all of you on am I still going to be playing Dying Light 2 next year? And I really have to say that it might be a 50 50. Could be because that I don't really feel like playing Dying Light 2 as much compared to when I was uploading the videos all the time on Dying Light 2. And also, we do have Dying Light the Beast coming out very soon. I cannot wait for that to come out because I'm so excited for it. But at the same time, I am saying 50-50 because, well, mainly because that we are getting some sort of different events on Dying Light 2 down the track because as like what we already said, that Techland are updating Dying Light 2 still, but there won't be any DLC storyline, whatever. So I feel like that'll be the only time I'll be going back to Dying Light 2, but playing it normally like what everyone else does, like, yeah, now nah, I'm good. Now, I do know some of the obvious absolutely love the Dying Light content because that's mainly my channel time to time. And people look at what I do, everyone thinks of dying light. Is it a bad thing? God, no. I mean, I really do appreciate all the love and support that I have gotten over the years. My most viewed videos are dying light too. Oh, look at these zombies. Hey, man. How you going? But man, there are so many ways that they can improve on dying light too and make it more interesting down the track for more players to keep on playing it. I know that a lot of the community does not like dying light too because a lot of the comments that I have read over the few videos on dying light too, some people just don't have any interest anymore. This is weird as well because some people's experience is much more worse than what I've dealt with. So I don't really completely understand about why some people don't really enjoy playing Dying Light 2. Like everyone is different on what they like and don't like. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But of course, personally, for me, it was just very different. I enjoyed playing Dying Light 2. And I was there to support the game, even after all the freaking backlash the game got in. And now the game's getting all the love and support that it should have gotten a while back. But even though a lot of the people have not come back to Dying Light 2, at the end of the day, at least Techland are going to be learning from their mistakes on Dying Light 2 and work on Dying Light the Beast. And I swear to God, please just listen to the community of what we want and don't want in the game and just give us one of the best zombie experiences that well, we can have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I do have to say to all of you as well, are you still going to be playing Dying Light 2 down the track? I did raid comments the other day of people saying that, uh, yeah, I'm actually not going to be playing Dying Light 2 when uh, Dying Light the Beast comes out. Uh, hey, let me know down in the comments down below. <laughs>
And you definitely know it's more funny as well when a lot of YouTubers are playing Dying Light 1 more than Dying Light 2. I just got a demo to my guy into my feed. All I get is Dying Light 1 content. That's insane. Oh, hi. How the fuck? <laughs> also, it could be including for me because of the channel because I'm not just a Dying Light YouTube channel. I always play different games and we do have quite a few games coming out in October. Especially Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I cannot wait for that. And that's going to be absolutely hectic when it comes out. I don't think I'm going to be going back to Dying Light 2 for quite some time. I definitely will be doing a lot more content on Dying Light the Beast when it comes out and even talk more in depth on it when, well, we have more information on it because at the moment it's a little bit freaking dry. Ow! Hang on, we'll just do this. <laughs> okay, you are dead. Because it is at the same time that I'm trying to find out what I really want to do with my channel. Like, it would be really cool to do stuff with green screens and, and also learn different designs as well. Because I'm always learning all the time on my channel. And I know a lot of people go, oh, focus on the one thing that's getting you all the views and whatever. But I don't want to do that because I want to enjoy what I upload. What the fuck? And at the end of the day, I'm just happy to get like a hundred views or a thousand views, whatever. I'm just happy to get something. Because I always see a lot of smaller YouTubers out there that think too much and they go, oh, I want to get this and get that done. You always start off small, then you grow after time. If you're dedicated on what you want to do, it will start working out. Of course, you will have to go from the very bottom, then go to the top. Nobody is up the freaking top within like less than a month or whatever. It's like when you look at all the other YouTubers, they started off with nothing and they progressed over time. Even though I started YouTube a little bit later, but what I've got on my channel is really impressive. Well, for me, because I wasn't expecting to have over 2,000 subscribers. Like, god damn. Which I always say every time in my videos, I do really, really appreciate the love and support. Even all the shout outs I've been getting lately, especially from Zomfected when he uh, moted me the other day. So to answer your question on, am I still gonna be playing Dying Light 2 next year? It's going to be a rough baby. <laughs> I'll definitely will be making another video on Dying Light 2 when it turns three years old, I believe. And time to time, I know a lot of viewers think I'm a freaking talking clock half the time. I don't honestly blame you because when I edit my own freaking videos, I go, why the hell do I repeat myself like five times in a row? Especially how many goddamn times I always talk about on, could you play Dying Light 2 in 2024? And my answer all the time is yes. And a lot of people go, why don't you explain it more in detail? And it's like, most of the time, it's like a pain in the ass to do. Oh, hang on, what the fuck? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, f me. Uh, don't go down there. Don't, don't, don't you dare whip. I mean, uh, okay, okay. I guess I. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, 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 oh. I'm up, you bitch. Come on. Fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it. Doing this for my country. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, game. What are you supposed to do? What be to exactly do, man? I can't do anything. Go, go, go. On, on. Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my geez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I like this. This is pretty freaking cool. Make it in time. Are you really freaking fan? I'm stuck. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh. I am still wondering about how the heck are people level max on this game? Like, god damn, I would have thought I would have been a high level, but my level is absolutely crap compared to other people. Or it could be because I didn't really play Dying Light 2 for almost a year. So I went back to it at the beginning of the year. Yeah, it's a little bit of a loophole when you think about it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Why does this sh remind me of Left 4 Dead? Man, I went back to Left 4 Dead the other night and my god, I f***ing love it. I'm the bomb on the wall. Easy. Oh, there's dead bodies. Dude, what? Pick up the access I think you spelled that freaking wrong as well. Damn it, dude. This is what freaking Dying Light 2's campaign should have been like. Tackland, why? Why did you stop with the storyline on Dying Light 2? Uh-oh. Hey guys, can I uh, sort of talk about what's gonna be happening? Fuck off. Yeah, try to start on my ass and all of a sudden we get this shit. This would have been a really cool idea, to be honest. Like, to do this after leaving Villador, that would have made a lot of sense. It's really cool to see that a lot of the community are still making maps for the, well, community maps, of course. It really just shows everybody that the game is not dead, like what a lot of people do say online, which is the most annoying thing that I really do see with a lot of people that post on, like, Twitter or Instagram saying dead game. The game's not really dead if they still have the servers on. A game is properly dead when the servers are shut down. Can I please quickly open this before the big boomer guy comes next to me? Ha ha ha!
I love doing whack a mole season. What the fuck? I see you right next to me. It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh, hang on. I actually put the wrong thing on. I'm not thinking something. Oh my god. This is what it feels like when you're on drugs. Okay, I'm not gonna say that because I don't wanna get demonetized by freaking YouTube. Because YouTube is such a pain in the ass and this shit. Sometimes I do wish that they could have made the volatiles more in the storyline, but okay, you know what? We can't really talk about the storyline anymore because they fed it. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 you fing bitch. Oh, you bitch. Oh no, I've gotta go back in there. That was not even worth my time to even bother to freaking. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's chasing me. It's chasing me. <laughs> uh, uh, turn on. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bitch. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm away. I'm away. Open. Open. I'm stuck. <laughs> Run away, no shit. Yeah, run away to freaking Narnia. What, do I have to just keep running? Run, running, 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 running. <laughs> Where the f am I? What? How many times have I died already? Jesus Christ, I would really think this would be quite easy, but it's not freaking easy. Okay, run away from the. F I, 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 <laughs> I don't know what happened. My God. No, no. Oh, my God. Yes, I did it. <laughs> oh. Hey, what took you so long? It's already midday. I cleaned up my stuff ages ago. Yeah, shut up. Thank you very much for completing the map. I hope you enjoyed this experience and it reminded you about the prison heist DLC. It was my first interior project on such a big scale. I found new challenges to overcome and gain experience for the future. I thought I really did satisfy with this result. Villa by Sebastian. Thank you. Hey, you want to check out this map? Be my guest. Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. And I just felt like going back to Dying Light 2 to play a couple of community maps. It wasn't like that many I wanted to play, really. But once again, everybody, thank you all so much for the love and support over the two years of me uploading on this channel. And also all the support on Dying Light 2. And I hope you guys understand about where I'm coming from with the Dying Light 2 content. That you're still going to see some of the content from Dying Light 2. But it's not going to be like all the freaking time. But don't worry, we do have a lot of other videos on the way. Like we've got a cool duty video. Video. We've got a quiet place video as well and all just different video games that I feel like playing well when I feel like playing it But there will always be videos on this channel. Well besides that everybody Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. My name's Jonathan and I'll see you guys on my next video <laughs>